All right, let's talk about manufacturing overhead now. Because direct material and direct labor are directly uh, applied or, or moved to the job. But again, overhead is not. Overhead has to be applied because at the start of the job, we don't know exactly how much we're going to be using of, of manufacturing overhead for that job. We can only estimate it, but we still have to apply some of that cost to the job at the beginnings. That way we know how, to, to how much to charge them. So how do we do that? Well, we use what's called a predetermined overhead rate. And a predetermined overhead rate, or POR, is a standard rate based on estimated, estimated activities used to assign or apply uh, overhead to products. It is a calculation that we do at the very beginning to know how much we're actually going to apply to each job. This is actually typically done at the very beginning of the period. And then we're just going to use this as a standard over and over and over for all the jobs throughout that period. Then we'll figure out if we're correct at the very end. Now, without using a POR, we would have to wait until the end of the period to assign any overhead cost to, to the product because that's when we know the actual amount. But again, we need to know this information early so we know how much to charge the customer. If we don't know how much it costs us, we don't know how much to charge. Or if we do, if, we, if we're going to put a price to it without knowing it, there's a good chance we may lose money. Now, using a POR smooths out the seasonal fluctuations in actual overhead costs that are not related to, uh, that, that are not related to activity levels. Using a POR solves the problem of fixed overhead, which don't change with a unit basis. So this is a way to keep everything flat so there's not a whole lot of fluctuations. So POR is very, very necessary for when it comes to job order costing or anytime we're applying manufacturing overhead to the job or even the process.